Welcome to ACT Notes Tutorials, my name is Professor Anne from Santa Fe, New Mexico, and I am going to give you a quick tutorial on the System Requirements Review, or what I call an SRR. What is a System Requirements Review? A System Requirements Review is a formal review conducted to ensure that system requirements have been completely and properly identified and that a mutual understanding between the government and contractor exists. It ensures that the system under review can proceed into initial systems development and that all system and performance requirements derived from the initial capabilities document or draft capability development document are defined and testable, and are consistent with cost, schedule, risk, technology readiness, and other system constraints. What is the purpose of the system requirements review? The purpose of an SRR is to assess the system requirements captured in the system specification. This ensures that the system requirements are consistent with the approved material solution, initial capabilities document, enabling concepts, and available technologies identified in the material solutions analysis phase. An SRR is important in understanding the system performance, cost, and scheduling impacts that the defined requirements will have on a system. Completion of the system requirements review should provide an approved system performance specification with sufficiently conservative requirements to provide for design trade space for the engineering, manufacturing, and development phase. A preliminary allocation of system requirements to hardware, human, and software subsystems. A preliminary identification of all software components, tactical, support, deliverable, non-deliverable. A comprehensive risk assessment for EMD. An approved EMD phase systems engineering plan that addresses cost and critical path drivers, and And finally, an approved life cycle sustainment plan, defining the product support plan and sustainment concepts with the corresponding metrics. What should be reviewed during the system requirements review? All relevant documentation should be reviewed, including Feasibility analysis, system operational requirements, system maintenance concept, functional analysis, system design criteria, draft system specification and any initial draft performance item specifications, systems engineering planning, test and evaluation master plan, draft technical performance measurements, and finally, system design documentation. Thank you for watching this tutorial on the system requirements review. For more information to include checklists and standards, please visit the webpage. Congratulations for finishing this tutorial and thanks for visiting ACT Notes.